All right, guys, for today's game, I'm going to be playing NASA in top lane. I'm going to show you how to play this champion even more brain dead than your usual just Nasus. And let's do a couple of simple things. One, if you're in a matchup where you can actually Q level one, you can still start Q. Um, but even in a matchup like this, like Sion can still poke you, he can still push you off or whatever. Um, we start D-ring here. reason to start D-ring is so we can start pushing the Sion off of the wave and get basically a permanent farm and actually end up even bullying the uh the scion yeah you see how this guy like he could still play a little bit aggressive right still try to push this off minions now i'm gonna fight him while i'm in my minion wave here all right this is totally fine with me i love that my q can proc comet by the way so he's trying to play aggressive trying to play up front with his uh with this W, I'm totally fine with this. Uh, as soon as we get two, uh, we put our points in E, and we put at least three points in E, if not more, based on matchup. So against Scion, let me just put the first point E there. And uh, now, big focus is on the uh, the farm. We don't focus in on the stacks, not yet at least. Because biggest thing, like, if we're getting pressured like this, and he's sitting in front of our minions, that's going to be kind of hard to play against, right? But we put points in E. We get perma farm with these runes. Comet, you take a mana flow band. You have TP to get back to lane. And, like, even, even for, like, a cannon minion, if you can get stacks, like, easily, sure, take it. But otherwise, you're just sitting back, you're pressing E, and... Uh, you'll eventually just start out farming, out pressuring the Scion um, after a couple points. Except we're getting a gank too. Makes this even easier. Oh! <laughs> hey, you know what? I got two kills. <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything. Oh my god, this is great. Yeah, and uh, in this case, Scion's going to come back and TP. I'm going to Q farm this minion. When Scion gets back, I'm just going to start E-spamming with my blue buff I got. Yeah, so brain dead easy, their jungler just comes top and gets double killed. Let's go. And look how much of this farm we can get. And if you're in a, like, a really tough matchup where like maybe the opponent doesn't have any sustain whatsoever... Um, you can also even go, like, double D-Ring. Or, from this point, you can go into, like, regular items. It just totally depends. Regular items being stuff like Divine Sunder. Which, Divine Sunder, especially against a, a Scion, is going to do massive work. I have my TP, Scion doesn't. So, let's push in pressure him until, uh, you know, let's, let's focus in on the wave. You know, he might just die. Oh, he leveled. Otherwise, he would have died to that E. I'm just going to back in TP. Don't want to be ganked by Rengar here. We back in TP. We're going to be in a really good spot. I'm actually going to build... Let's build CDR boots. And let's build this. Building in towards, like, CDR first. Really nice. Uh, we could also go to Nasty, because he do have a good bit of CC. It just kind of depends on, you know, your play style. And honestly, we could swap to Merc Hoods later if we want, but, I mean, this is how we're playing it. So now that we have three points in E, we're just going to be hard shoving, sign in over and over again, and uh, getting stacks when we can, but mostly just trying to poke him out. And we're just going to keep him low with E-Poke. Every time I ease up, I'm just going to place it right on top of his head. And the AoE is so big, you literally can't even miss it. Oh man. I thought I could get away without flashing, but oh well. I'm going to say worth science reset. Kane still gets a lot out of that too, so. 
I'm gonna grab Kindle Gem. We're going to full on for CDR. The CDR is gonna give us a lot of E poke. Since our E's just gonna be coming off back off cooldown over and over again. It's gonna allow us to shove the wave. And of course we get more stacks. More CDR. So we could save our uh we'll save our flash for a rainy day. Maybe we can get something here. Um Let's see. The Zaya's pretty fed. That's no concern. Again, we're just gonna focus. Every time we see Sign, let's put that cute that E right on his head. He's getting chunked for a good bit of his health every time I do that. Again, just do it here. The more points in E, by the way, the more percent armor you're producing. Which against a tank like Sign can actually do pretty good work. And with us having lifesteal. And now getting a few points in the Q. Uh, we're just going to out-sustain this guy. Got to watch out for, like, a Rengar ulti in. I basically have infinite mana, by the way. Just because I have uh, Comet. I've, um, I've got uh, Mana Flow Band. I've got Biscuits. So I can just spam over and over again. This also makes it so since we're permanently shoving in a scion, he's uh he's not able to get that turret pressure onto us. Let's kill him. Nice, got another comma front proc. We're just gonna keep it right here. Oh, rip. I forgot I don't have Sheen. So we're going to have low stacks early, but because of the pressure we have on Scion, we're going to get high stacks later. The uh, general idea of the build. Let me put a ward here just so I can try to watch for um, the Rengar coming up. Against Rengar and Shaco and uh, those kind of champions, you always want to um, ward deep. We farming. I'm gonna use my biscuit when I run completely. Um, denying him the W denies him the ability to insta clear our waves. Ringer is bottom. Don't have to worry about him. I don't have to use E here. You only use E when you're poking out your opponent. The knight is coming up. Walk up, poke him with Comet, clear the wave. And again, I still have a little bit of mana just because I had the biscuit. Once his shield's gone, I'll poke him. He's doing 200 damage each time. Able to just free farm. Alright. Shoved in. Reset. Go back, and I'm going to grab uh, Warhammer here. And next time could probably be like Frozen Heart. So we could grab just a Cloth Armor here. Could help us in case the uh, the Rengar uh, ganks top too. Come a little back to Armor for Cyan and Rengar. Unfortunately, I don't have TP here, and he TP'd, so we might be able to get a plate since I had to wait for a mana. But yeah, we're getting free scaling this game. So, 117 stacks at 10 minutes. Not too bad. What we're shooting for is we're shooting for roughly about... Usually you want like 300 stacks for 20. And that's like a decent point. Well, honestly, in this game, with the amount of pressure we put on Sion, how easy we're just able to farm. Uh, we can maybe get a lot more. And we focus on getting the CDR first over, you know, rushing something like Sheen when you usually go Q-Max. We try to catch up in stacks as quickly as possible. I'm gonna shove here since I know Sion's roaming mid. The ult. And 
both get plates. I think Victor actually got a kill back on Diana. Really good. Gonna be getting plenty of gold here. Sion's still there. So I guess Diana coming at top. Okay. We can grab our Divine Thunder. And we can TP back up. Catch the wave. Diana won't be able to fight us with that 7 Divine. And they actually have a lot of HP stackers on their team. So Divine actually gets me so much regen. You know, with Nasus in general, you want to focus on the ability haste. I'll see if he wants to queue into me. You know, he's just, he's against it. An enemy has been slain. We are stacking so hard now. We got our maxed out Q at level 10. And we didn't struggle at any point during the signing phase. In fact, we were able to pressure sign, push him back, prevent him from just suiciding and getting turret plates on us. If he tries to fight us now, we queue him and we get like all of our health back. Yeah, 195 HP from that queue, by the way. We get so much health back because Divine. 202 health. Yeah, we are just stacking absolutely everything. Mm. I'm trying to think what I want my next item to be. Oh man, my Q does so much more damage when I put my E on him. It's because all the reduced armor. I'm focusing on getting my stacks here. Honestly, I could probably just wither this guy. And the cane kills him. Plus 12. I wonder if I get plus 12 if I hit his, his uh, corpse. I actually don't know that one. Did I just two Q him? <laughs> Shut down. This champion's so nuts. It's so brain dead easy. Oh my god. I even have ult. I just E Q'd and then Q'd him again. He just died. I have 300 stacks in 15 minutes, by the way. Going E first. I'm, I'm pretty tanky. So, I don't know how much the uh, sign can even do. Okay. I mean, I guess he's stacking heart steel on me. I mean, it's fine. I just wanted to stack, anyways. We stacking. Yeah, usually it's like 300 by 20 is like a decent number. 500 is like exceptional. Um, we might even beat 500 here. With the amount of CDR we have already. The Nasus has to back, by the way.
Diana's walking up here. I don't know why. Oh, that's because Rengar's there too. Damn. I, I used my first Q against the Diana. If I had saved it for Rengar, it would have been better. Let's do... Okay. So, a couple options go here. One, you could get Spirit Visage for extra healing. Or you could go Stone Plate, which also gives Ability Haste. And would prevent me from being bursted. Let's do this. Nice thing about Stone Plate for Nasus is that the Unbreakable active is based off, like the shield is based off bonus HP. And guess what gives us bonus HP? Yeah, our freaking ultimate gives us 450 bonus HP. So that adds basically 400 health onto this shield. And you can get a big burst of uh, tankiness. Let's just keep stacking. Honestly, we could even start ulting for stacks if we wanted, but... I want to make sure, like, I have it in case Rengar comes top or Diana. Is that Glux is up here? I gotta be a little bit careful being this far up. Yeah, my team is, like, nowhere to be seen. That's the only thing that's bad about taking these turrets early is that, like, if your team can't pressure as well, you end up being in a bad spot. The sign is tilted from losing to a NASA. Oh, no. Happens. Alright, got plus 12 from the rift. Uh, plus like 200. Man, I have so much CDR. I have 60 ability haste right now. While being super freaking tanky. Yeah, so it looks like we're about, like, almost going to reach the 500 mark. At 20 minutes, which is, like, definitely above average. And that's above average for, like, a Q-Max, like, um, stack-focused, um, you know, early game build. Here we went for pressure. And, uh, we're almost at 500 stacks. Which shows, like, the, the pressure itself can give you more stacks than a, a focus build from the beginning. <laughs> oh my god. They getting stacked. Looks like they are sending the goon squad up again, but this time my team was ready. Um, could probably reset and go bottom. I think could probably handle the nah, the Scion though, to be honest. I mean, the more health that Scion gets, the more health I'm gonna be like getting from um Divine Sunder. So even if Nasus belts a ton of armor, Divine Sunder gives you the healing from pre-mitigation damage. It's the most broken part of the item. So even if they have 10,000 armor, you're going to be getting healing based off the max health damage that you're doing off pre-mitigation damage before the armor takes an effect. Which gives you just so much just like health. So even though this guy is Bramble and he's like reducing my health by healing, uh, still some help. Alright, well, I got my stone plate. I'm in a good spot. 
You know what? This guy pissed me off. Okay. Well, we're gonna walk on here. Wait, so armor is ignored when counting healing from Thunder? Exactly. And that's not just armor, that's any damage reduction. So, like, say you're hitting, like, an Aurelia who's using W that gives damage reduction. It'd be for the negation of that, too. Help putting up here to get my stacks, prevent Diana from getting pressure onto this turret. I mean, I think a lot of people don't realize how just so broken Divine Sunder is. Like, any champion that can make use of the item with, like, low cooldown, you know, auto attack enhancing abilities is going to dominate with it. Um, got nine seconds, my Herald. You know what? The dragon's about to spawn, so I can pressure the top side of the map while they're doing dragon. We can maybe even end the game here, straight up. Cyan is still bottom. Two are dead. The other two are like in their bot jungle. Uh, we at least get in hip here. I mean, I don't think they really want to fight me. So, I have a 433 HP shield, which gets increased by, like, 400 when I ult. So, it's like an 800 HP shield, on top of just being... I just have so much resist. 300 armor, almost 150 MR. Come on, bro. I need to show him what a Q looks like. Oh, I used my stone play after. I don't have tenacity, so I'm gonna swap the mercs. Early CDR boots for um stacking is nice, but yeah, I definitely need uh I definitely need mercs though. I was just held in place permanently between Lux Snare and then the Zaya E and then the Rengar Bola. <laughs> I got kited. You can do this build too with Ghost. I think TP makes it like more brain dead easy to get through lane. And let's be honest, that was like a one versus four situation in an actual 5v5 team fight. There's no way they can commit all their cooldowns on me and my team not like make use of it. Um, we should do Baron. Baron would allow us just to end the game in Baron. Kane's freaking huge. I mean, I was ready to dive with Kane. The one-shot Q with Nasus is so satisfying, yeah. There's some lethality build that you can go with Nasus too. It's pretty risky though, compared to this. What's gonna ult? Ult's got a pretty short cooldown with all the CDR I have.
Pakistan's damage is still pretty low. Go ahead. Draven's back and we go cover bottom. We can just shove mid down in. I mean, look how much damage I'm about to do this turret. Well, they had two raid bosses deal with there. They either chose to try to CC me or CC the cane. They CC'd the cane and I just went up and beat Rengar. There you go. Easiest way to play Nasus. Most brain dead easy way to get LP. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more of this kind of content. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.